Hello, I'm Dr. Pamela Ruig and I hold the David J. Ellis Chair in Antimicrobial Resistance in Large Animal Clinical Sciences at Michigan State University. Today I'm going to be continuing our video series about antibiotic usage in dairy cattle by discussing rules for using antibiotics on dairy farms. And I'm going to focus on just four really important concepts that we all have to understand. The very first rule is to understand that there are rules. And there's rules everywhere in the world about antibiotic usage. Now, wherever you are, you've got a regulatory authority that governs the use of antibiotics in food producing animals. And you should be familiar with those rules. In the United States, the Food and Drug Administration regulates antibiotic usage um, on dairy farms in the US. The FDA regulates and makes these rules not to make things harder for us, but to ensure the safety of meat and milk that comes from the animals we care for. All antibiotics used in dairy cows must be used following those FDA approved regulations. Now the second rule is that only approved antibiotics can be used to treat dairy cattle. And in the United States, the FDA has approved only five products for injectable use in lactating cows. You can see the approved products in this table. They include for adult cows, ampicillin, ceftiofur, oxytetracycline, penicillin, and some restricted uses of sulfadimethoxine. For intramammary use, there's a seven intramammary antibiotics approved to treat clinical mastitis and seven other um, intramammary antibiotics approved for use at dry off. Those are the only intramammary products that can be given to dairy cattle. That means that nothing else can be put in the udder of those cows. And that includes no usage of botanicals and no usage of herbal therapies. Those uses simply aren't permitted under FDA rules. You'll also see in this table that there's 10 approved antibiotics that can be used in heifers and calves that are less than 20 months of age. The third rule I wanna to discuss today is that the FDA has approved withholding periods for both meat and milk for all of the antibiotics that it allows to be used in dairy cattle. And when you read a product label, it has instructions on the dosage, the route, and the duration of treatment. And you can see in this um, animation, a, a typical treatment protocol for non-severe clinical mastitis using an approved antibiotic for three days in a three-day um, uh, milk withholding period. I also wanna stress there'd be an approved meat withholding period um, for that animal. So if, if the decision was made to send that animal for beef, you need to read the label and understand how long it is until the antibiotic has cleared that system so the meat is safe for humans. Now, let's, let's remember, those withholding periods for meat and milk are only appropriate if the FDA um, approved dose, route, and duration has been followed. And other videos in this series will discuss how to read a drug label. Our last rule is that you've got to be engaged with a veterinarian. Antibiotic usage requires veterinary oversight. And that veterinary oversight has to be by a prescribing veterinarian who is licensed in the state where the prescription is issued. In 2023, according to FDA rules, 100% of antibiotics given to food animals in 100% of our states will require a prescription. So you must be engaged with a local veterinarian. Now there are some instances where extra label that means uh, usage of an approved drug in a way that's not listed on the label is allowed. But those usages are only allowed under veterinary oversight and there's special considerations. We'll have another video which will go into detail about what those regulations are. All right, let's just recap. Drug usage everywhere in the world is regulated and those rules must be followed. So understand the rules in the area that you're in. In the United States, only FDA approved antibiotics can be used. And those antibiotics should be used following the label indications because the withholding periods 
for meat and milk are only appropriate when the products are used as specified on the label. Remember, you must be working with a local veterinarian because antibiotic usage requires prescriptions and oversight of a veterinarian licensed in a state where the drug will be used. Now finally, let's remember, antibiotic usage is a privilege. It's regulated to ensure the safety of the animals we care for and the consumer confidence in the food that we produce.